Hello there and welcome back you lovely lot and a nice big warm welcome to anybody new tuning in today. Right then, these are what we will be using today. So it's Diamond Nail Supplies Acrylic, Clear and Lemon Drops, Broken Gold from Glitter Bells and a couple of glitters. So let's start with the design and we're going in on the thumb with Glitter Bells Broken Gold. I'm going to, uh, now these are extreme length so I always go in with the smaller beads and I'm putting pieces of holographic gold flakes on top there. Everything that's used today I will list below in the description box as always. So then I go in again here with the glitter bells, pre-glitter acrylic this one is, so this is already mixed, you just pop your monomer brush into there and pick up your bead, apply that to the nail and then I go in with some of those holographic pieces again, flatten it down, make sure they're really flat and push it into that wet acrylic, I've only picked it up with my wet brush, I haven't used any acrylic with this back in with the broken gold again pat that down make sure the sides are in a couple more pieces of those holographic pieces just a few pat them down nice and flat and push it into that wet acrylic and then what i'm doing is there it's quite a large c curve on this so i ensure that the sides are all covered with that glitter and if some of it's a little bit sheer, I will go in with a little bit more, as you can see here. And I'm just checking the sides on this side. And making sure I'm happy with the coverage all over. The brush that I'm using here today is the Nail Maked Aqua, size 10. And we're going to do exactly the same on the pinky. So I'll just let you watch this for a moment. So here I am making sure it's all flat, I'm happy with the coverage everywhere, before moving on to the middle three. Now I do exactly the same on all three nails here, and I come in with Diamond Nail Supplies Lemon Drops. As you can see I place on the bead, clean my brush, brush it back, and then brush it down the nail. Coverage on this is absolutely wonderful, really, really nice. I don't have to keep going back, putting lots of beads on. The only reason I have to put a few beads on this is because of the length of the nail, not because of the coverage of this powder. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous yellow colour. And um, when I got it in the haul last week, I just knew I needed to use it. I wanted to use it and I couldn't think of a design so uh, so I was like you know I had a look through all my nail art stuff and what I'd got and I saw the bee stickers and I thought that's it perfect this is what we're gonna do 
So the thumb and the little finger will be the um, gold full coverage nails. Then we're going to do a bit of stamping over that. The two uh, fingers, the middle finger and the point finger will be the honeycomb with the bees. And then on the ring finger, I wanted to do like a honey trail. I didn't want to do the drips. Uh, they, they seem to be quite popular at the moment. I wanted to use my inks. So that's what we did. I wanted to do something a little bit different, but incorporate this beautiful yellow shade. And this is what I came up with. So here I am on the ring finger. popping down that bead so I took it in at the cuticle round to the right brush it down round to the left making sure that that's nice and neat before I carry on then I uh, come in with the beads to ensure that the whole nail is covered in that beautiful lemon drops shade So once I've done with that, I will come in with a tiny bead of clear acrylic and I put that on the finger and then I'm going in with some gold hexes. Now this is really quite painful to watch, so uh, I haven't left it all in. I've left this finger in, um, but I was picking it up with the cuticle stick, as you can see, and manoeuvring it into place. But I think as the acrylic was like drying on the tip, of the wood stick it was causing the uh, the glitter pieces to, to stick slightly to the end of that so you can see me wiping it on that paper towel there so I'm getting individual hexes from the glitter mix and I'm putting them on this nail so I'm going to do like a clump all together to represent the honeycomb and then like a trail going off So I'll just let you watch this for a moment. So when I'm happy with this finger, I then do the same on the uh, point finger as well. And now I'm coming in with the stickers that have the bees on. So the design was going to be around that coloured acrylic and these stickers. So as you can see, I put it here in shot for you. So I just peel them off and I pop it onto the nail. Now one, one of these kept sticking to my uh, pincers and it wouldn't come off. The bigger one, you just pop it on and it goes on. That's great. But there's a little baby one. I think it's this next one. And it just won't come off my pincers. I just couldn't get it off. It was stuck. Really, really, they're really sticky, which is great. But not when it's sticking to... <laughs> and then I, I pick it up again and I'm like, really? You've just got it off. Oh, why do I do this to myself? So you put those where, where you're happy with those. So I've put those on both there. I'm just checking to make sure that it all flows because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a nice flow of the honeycomb and the bees. So I'm going to do a bit of stamping. It's clear jelly stamper, Mo U Black, and this plate from Nicole Diary. It's the animal plate there with the bees. And this is the honeycomb. And I'm going to do this on both the thumb and the little finger over those gold acrylic so i think thought this would be a nice touch to the uh to the honeycomb so i'll do the top half line it up roll it to one side roll it to the other way around there and then push it down 
I do exactly the same on here. Now, I try to keep it in shot for you guys, but these nails are so long. I, I don't know how I picked it up, because look at my hand. Look at the handle of my hand. Honestly, I do this for you guys. I hope you appreciate this, love. <laughs> oh, dear. But I really, really wanted to get it in shot. I wanted you to, uh, to see how I'm doing this. So, as you can see, there's a line halfway down. So I will scrape this off, pick it up and match it exactly line for line as you can see and press, roll to one side, roll to the other and ensure that's fully on there and then tap in around the edges. Now I'm going to go in with the Premier Gel top coat and I give it one coat here and I'll zap that for 30 seconds and then I go in with a second coat so I do that on both of those nails now this is going to be the Born Pretty uh, inks and this is in yellow so I put this on and I was thinking oh no it's you know it's really yellow and it's it's not gonna stand out very well so I put put it on this is sped up but I put it on and I let it dry. Then I put some more on, I let that dry. Then I put the third layer on, I let that dry. Now I'm starting to see the orangey tones that are in that yellow. So it was becoming a bit more prominent on the nail and we could see where the ink was. So I'm liking that now. So then I go in with the isopropyl alcohol in that little dish and a old brush. And I'm just tapping it wiping off the excess and what you do is when you put the isopropyl alcohol in it pushes it to the side and that's how you get your lines so i go in with those inks again and i'm dabbing that where i want it then i go in with the brush i push it to that side careful not to take too much off and i want it to flow down the nail and this is going to be like my honey nail that was the thinking behind this. This was my interp interpretation of the design. So again, I take it off and I'm building up those lines where it pushes the ink to the sides and up and down every time I put on the isopropyl alcohol. Clear it off so it looks like a wiggly line and it's a more of a definition there. So if the ink started to go into that yellow shade, so it take, took away like the pattern that I was trying to create, I would then wipe it away with that small brush. And I keep building this up until I'm perfectly happy with the shades. Because each time I do it, it's getting a little bit darker and I'm really liking that. So I do this, I check it on the sides, and then I go in with the top coat. And I've top coated all the other nails, so there's just this one to do. I will do that for 30 seconds, and then um, put a second coat on to make sure that that's completely covered. I really need to get another top coat out wipe off the excess as usual and there we have it guys so i popped a couple of stones on just to finish it off and this is the finished design now i really hope you've enjoyed this video today if you have please give me the thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already i would really love it if you would thank you very much for tuning in today guys and until next time bye